Hey everyone, it's Christine. Welcome back to the channel. And there's Spency. We're getting ready to head over to a park. And I'm going to do some more videos over there. But this video is about... It's kind of a follow-up to the Are Your Friends Misogynists. And I want to talk about your female friends. And especially the one friend who might be a misogynist, or maybe they all are, but these women will choose men over you. So those of you that are healthy emotionally, I mean, we all have to work through our internalized misogyny and racism and lots of things. We all have to do the work around that. But as far as women this message is really for women and that is it's important that we do our inner work around misogyny and how we've internalized it and how we might be biased into choosing or prioritizing the men in our lives over our female friends so i mentioned in that video about my friend and how we parted ways now i've known this woman for 15 years and she's also a paralegal and i have a ton of respect for her but when she decided to defend this lawyer guy that I mentioned to you, it really kind of made me sad for her. I mean, don't get me wrong. I kind of saw that breakup coming, but I was caught off guard really at how she defended his behavior and chose him over a friend. So the moral of the story is, ladies, is that don't choose these men over your friends. That's one of the reasons why we really need to do this work. And it's a step towards decentering men, but I know that's a lot for some people to bite off and chew right now. But the main thing to realize is, is that these men are not going to be there when you fall on hard times. Now, of course, not all men. I know somebody's going to be thinking that, right? But, uh, you know, if... You're in a relationship and you get sick, there's a very good chance that the guy's going to leave you or he's going to move on, if, especially in a long-term illness. I've seen this happen in my own family. And so it makes me sad for this friend of mine because she chose some older guy. I mean, she's not dating this guy or anything, but this is a work situation. But the fact is, is that she defended him instead of handling it differently and if she thinks that this particular man gives a shit about her or if he's gonna be there when she falls on hard times women step up for other women and so that's why it's really important that we nurture our female friendships and you know our community and I'm not just talking about you know the town you live in so for example I have a community at the dog park I don't hang out with these people that much but they have stepped up in smaller ways and become some very nurturing relationships and so if something were to happen I have no doubt that someone from this group or someone in community would step up to help me and in fact that has already happened so while I think we need to um remove some of these people from our lives we also need to nurture and as they say pour into the relationships that are pouring into us and for most of us that's going to be with other women men need to work with other men like men are going to start coming to us to solve their problems and blame us for the fact that you know they're old and alone and you know they've shit on everybody up until they've gotten old and now they're sick and they're alone and so you I guarantee you we're gonna see men I mean it's already happening men coming into women's spaces trolling women especially in YouTube comments about men are angry that women are choosing themselves over them and a lot of the problems that men have, men need to work with other men because that's what women do. We work with other women to get things done. And men's loneliness and men's behavior is not our problem to solve. And so I, while I wish my friend the best, the door's open for her to come back. And in fact, I hope, I sincerely hope that me 
calling her out on her poor friendship is a wake-up call to her to take a look at what she's doing and how she's stuck in her own misery and how she's defending these men that this particular man doesn't even sign her paycheck. That's, I mean, that's what's so strange about it. He's just an older lawyer that works in the same office. So it is, it was interesting to me that she would defend some man who's really an acquaintance instead of someone she's been friends with for 15 years. And also I have to be transparent here and say that I did this years ago. And that's another thing. This woman is older than I am. But this was something I did when I was in my 20s. I got a boyfriend and ditched one of my friends because it was just inconvenient. And so it's not like I haven't done this. But frankly, I'm a little surprised that at this age, I'm 49, and she's older than I am, that she's still defending men who, at the end of the day, don't care about her will continue to exploit her like he wanted to exploit me and wasting all my time. And so I hope that this message resonates with some of you and that we start paying attention more to who's in our lives, what are they doing, what purpose do they serve. And if that sounds a little transactional, I get it. But frankly, some of us have really been screwed over by these institutions and men in our lives. And maybe we need to be a little more transactional, you know, a little more. What have you done for me lately? So, ladies, nurture your female friends. Create a community because men die before you do. They're not going to be there if you get sick. Your female friends will. And that's why it's really important to nurture your friends and your community. So, I'm Christine. Thanks for watching. And here's Spency. He's a little bored. We're going to go to the park. Thanks for liking, watching, sharing, subscribing. I love you all. See you in the next video.